Uh, welcome guys, it's Max here from Dragon Fruit South Africa. Um, while growing dragon fruit in a greenhouse um, a scenario has been done already, but there's not really any documented documented um, theory on how much a greenhouse can produce. This is a 30 by 10 meter greenhouse and there's a few hundred plants planted here. Um, your production is pretty much equal to the effort that you put in as well as the number of plants of course. There's a few factors. I, I know that it's not exact math but I can definitely say dear to experience um, since I've been growing dragon fruit since 2008 and it's 2019 now I can definitely say the more effort that you put into your pruning uh, your fertilizing your 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 dragon fruit field you'll you'll get a very much higher yield because your fruit your fruits will develop bigger um, if you allow only a few shoots that's going to carry fruits and that's actually how other crops um, other new methods of farming is also showing now it's like in the past they, they they would plant a peach tree and they would just let it grow like big trees and they would fertilize and everything i don't say that that practice is wrong but i've seen guys in 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 the cape region in the in the western cape region we those guys are planting like peach trees and they have got like this awesome shape thing where they grow it flat and on wires you know and they manipulate the trees and those things are carrying fruits that's so beautiful and so tremendously large and you know amazing it's like micromanaging really equals a very good um upbringing you know a, a very good uh productive plant producing large fruits and you know um, also having just maybe like a handful of selected fruiting branches that can carry fruits and you can cut it off and next year there's a new branch in that one's place so you can pretty much do that type of method but um, I wanted to keep you guys just posted on you know um, the greenhouse method uh, this is the one that I found that's the simplest um, the simplest method just by putting in like concrete um, uh, lintels concrete lintels not even high I think this thing is like a meter tall maybe 1.2 meter tall and um, I would maybe just replace this thing because the weight of the plants may not no then definitely not going to I, I have to put like something in between here um, just to uh, to keep this thing from bending down um, although it's very sturdy now but with the plants and the fruits weight it's definitely going to make an effect here so this was a bit of a baddie but um, yeah I would change this type of con uh, concept a little bit just by putting in something else I'm still going to use the same type of method um, this post looks of, or, or works very well but I'm going to replace this definitely or I'm just going to put something there to make it um, carry the fruit more easily but this is the first video on greenhouse dragon fruit farming um, and if all the guys that doesn't know I'm from DFSA dragon fruit South Africa and I'm in South Africa uh, in Gauteng Pretoria thank you